this is Peg Tech, and I'm babysitting an aquarium for my uh, sister and her man. The, they are buying a house and gave me this aquarium to kind of hold on to uh, while they get everything set up for it. And uh, it's really interesting. It's a Marine Land uh, half moon 20 gallon tank. Uh, apparently this tank also comes in a 30 gallon. It has an LED light at the top. That will also uh, do the blue nights. Of course, like the problem with most of these LED lights is you have to switch the, the switch back and forth. But I guess if you happen to have it on and it's nighttime and you want to switch it over, it's kind of a nice night light. Um, what's living in this aquarium are a series of platies. And uh, actually, I think they're kind of a platy and molly mix. They, they interbred or something like that and the uh, uh, figure eight puffer. The figure eight puffer is really cool. I love to give them uh, snails from some of my other tanks, uh, what the assassin snails haven't eaten already yet. And uh, this is a really interesting tank. I gotta say it's, um, it's not hard to clean as far as the glass. I was worried about that curved glass, but you know I use one of those magnetic cleaners and just kind of go around. Uh, instead of going sideways, they go up and down and go through there and it seems to work really well. Uh, the other thing is, uh, this is brackish water. Uh, figure eight puffers prefer brackish water. Uh, a lot of log bearers do just fine in there. Uh, all the aquascaping was done by Devin, my, my sister's boyfriend. And uh, I've just added a Anubis because I had some clippings anyway that I needed to take care of. So I threw this Anubis in and it's done surprisingly well. Um, if you don't know what brackish water is, brackish water is not salt water and it's not fresh water, it's somewhere in between. And um, you can measure the density of the salt in the water with a um, this thing that I'm gonna look up later. I really have to say that uh, it's, it's really an optical illusion. I can't get over how big this aquarium seems for a 20 gallon tank. I mean, it looks almost, I mean, just visually, it looks as big as my 30 gallon tank, but it's, it's clearly not. And uh, it's really, really cool. I just can't stop staring at it. I don't know if I'm gonna give it back. So sorry, Natalie and Devin. Figure eight puffers are pretty interesting. They. Uh, they of course eat all kinds of crustaceans. They have this beak in the front, and if you don't give them, if you don't give them something really hard to chew on, that beak can actually grow together. And uh, so it's really important that you keep them on a steady diet of some snails. They will eat just about any sort of crustacean that ends up in your aquarium. So this is not an appropriate tank mate for shrimp, for instance. But he is insanely neat to watch. Uh, just a really, really cool fish. And uh, if you got another tank with just tons and tons of snails in it all the time, you got a, a great food source for this guy. He will eat other things. Uh, he'll eat tube effects worms. He'll eat even standard food and stuff. But like I said, it's really important that you give him some uh, something hard, something hard to chew on, like for instance, pond snails like he's munching on now. What I've noticed that well after he's eaten the meat out of there, he will just continue to crunch on that shell until he's just ripped it into, uh, ripped it up quite a bit. That's really it. That's all I have to say about it. It's a, this is a cool aquarium. I definitely recommend it. It is made of glass. It's not plastic uh, or acrylic. Uh, it seems to be pretty sturdy. I've got it on just a standard 20 gallon stand that I got from PetSmart. Uh, I actually use these as nightstands, so I have no nightstand right now. It makes it really hard to put my glasses down at the end of the night. So I guess that's it for me this week. A uh, big thank you to all my viewers and uh, to all my new subscribers. A nice hello. I'm seeing a lot of stuff from uh, South America, Mexico, that sort of thing. So hola to all my new subscribers from there. And um, just uh, keep making comments, keep clicking like, and tell your friends. I'm Peck Tech, and I'll see you soon.